overnight to early this morning, we had a newly formed tropical depression. This is number nine. It's down here just south of the Dominican Republic or south and west of uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, there's a look at it on the satellite image. Most of the uh, thunderstorm activity has kind of been on the west side of the center of circulation. It is forecast to strengthen, though, over the uh, really the next uh, several days. Could become a tropical storm a little bit later on today or into tonight. Will likely be her mean if one of the waves out in the eastern Atlantic doesn't beat us to it. Uh, which I don't think it will. So I think this will likely be named Hermine. And then as it uh, moved kind of north and west uh, through the, uh, the weekend into early next week, it's forecast to strengthen even further and will likely be more impactful for the eastern Gulf Coast and the, uh, the state of Florida heading into early next week. Obviously, again, there is some degree of uncertainty once we start to get to day four and day five of the, uh, the track. So the track will likely shift a little bit, but uh, mainly looks like an eastern Gulf Coast and the, uh, the state of Florida as far as uh, any impacts and should this verify should this track verify can this models actually brings it inland a little bit further north up the uh, the coast of Florida, uh, but this would most of the impacts really all of the impacts other than maybe some gusty winds here in central Alabama would likely stay to the east of us. So we'll continue to attract that through the weekend. We're in the 50s. It's right at 50 degrees in Coleman right now. 58 in Birmingham. A beautiful fall day. Mostly sunny skies with temperatures in the low 80s. It will get a little bit warmer tomorrow, so a high of 87 on Saturday. Some clouds and maybe a passing shower on Sunday with mid 80s. Monday and Tuesday look fantastic. Temperatures will drop off quite a bit for some of those morning lows next week. Back to you.